Year in and year out, piecing together the clinical picture for pink eye poses a unique challenge. Several factors enter the picture, such as climate, nutrition, pasture conditions, fly management, herd disease pressure, treatment strategies, and weaned calf housing, bedding, and management. Sorting through these issues to arrive at a best approach can be daunting. However, depending on fibro animal health to assist in developing your tailor-made autogenous vaccine is easy. With its diagnostic and technical support, Fibro eliminates most of the guesswork for you. For quality pink eye submissions, it is important to first identify and swab those animals just beginning to break in the acute stage of disease. On the other hand, chronically infected eyes usually offer limited diagnostic value. Whenever possible, multiple animals should be swabbed, and they should not be treated with antibiotics prior to collecting swabs. It is equally important to follow best practices for the actual collection of eye swabs. This process starts with having adequate swab collection materials on hand. Fibro provides everything needed with our swab collection kits. These kits are supplied to practitioners free upon request. By closely following the instructions provided for the use of these materials, you can greatly ensure your diagnostic success. To optimize the diagnostic quality of an eye swab, it is critical to minimize the potential for contamination posed by eye secretions. These secretions usually harbor a variety of bacteria in large numbers. Contacting these secretions with the swab before or after contacting the cornea and the conjunctiva leads to greatly compromised culture results. These contaminants often outcompete desirable bacteria and overgrow the culture plates. To reduce this risk of contamination while swabbing, the animal should be well restrained and individual sterile wipes should first be applied to remove any visible matter present on or around the eye. When applying the eye swab, remember to insert the swab well into the deep conjunctival fold. After removing the swab from the eye, it is also important to avoid contacting it with any other surface before being safely sealed and stored. When swabbing for mycoplasma, a follow-up swab should be applied in the same manner and then immediately swirled in the mycoplasma media. Step-by-step -step use instructions for the special mycoplasma media are provided by Fibro. From the time a swab is collected until it is streaked out on culture plates, there are three key factors that can impact the diagnostic outcome. One, temperature. Swab should always be kept cool. Two, Moisture. Swab should never be allowed to dry out. 3. Time. Swab should be held in cool storage and delivered to the diagnostic lab as soon as possible. The quality and condition of the package received by the diagnostic lab will be reflected in the culture results. Samples should always be packed for shipment in an insulated container with an ample amount of ice packs. In the first example, the swabs and inoculated media are cool, well-sealed, and packed correctly. In the second example, the shipping container was not insulated with minimal ice provided. The samples were warm and dry. In the diagnostic lab, the culture plate actually documents the history of a swab when it is streaked. Here are plates showing streaks with distinct Meraxella colonies when temperature, moisture, and the time lag to culturing are managed well. Because there is minimal contamination, isolates can then be identified based on clear colony morphology. In contrast, when temperature, moisture, or the time to culture are not managed well, or when swabs are improperly collected or handled, the plates will indicate the breakdown of the process. Isolation of distinct Meraxilla organisms is difficult, if not impossible. At times, the microbiology of pink eye disease can be challenging. When samples are not swabbed correctly, it complicates the quality of the diagnostic submission. Consistently providing quality eye swabs can overcome this challenge and will prove very rewarding. By following a few simple rules for collecting and submitting eye swabs, you can definitely help us help you produce a successful autogenous vaccine.